What's up guys, I am back and iOS 13.1 is almost here. And in this video, I'll be talking about everything you need to know about it. Now right off the bat, let's get the release date out of the way. It's going to be 24th September. It was supposed to be 30th, but Apple pre pawned it to 24 because there was a security issue found in iOS 13, which I will talk about in a minute. But before that, let's talk about all the new features you can expect Apple to push out with iOS 13.1. Now one of those features has to be new emojis, it's a tradition for Apple to come up with new emojis with every point one update and 13.1 is gonna be no different. They did promise us 70 plus new emojis this fall and we haven't seen any so this might be it. Now apart from that, Apple is also gonna tweak the volume indicator to show which device is connected. So if you have the AirPods or the HomePod connected, it is gonna show the icon of the particular device inside the volume indicator. Now iOS 13.1 is gonna be more stable and smoother than iOS 13 and it's also gonna give us the ability to download fonts from the app store and basically use them anywhere we want and apart from that we'll also have the ability to share our estimated time of arrival in the maps application with some new home kit icons and some tweaks to the already present dynamic wallpapers inside settings and once again we will be able to make our own shortcuts a feature which apple took in one of the ios 13's beta now the main reason this update was pre-pawned is to fix the security issue which allows users to bypass your passcode and unlock any iPhone. It's gonna be fixed with this update. And we can also expect Apple to roll out night mode for iPhone 11 and 11 Pro, which wasn't available stock, but it's gonna be available with iOS 13.1. Now, as I already stated, this update is gonna bring more stability and improvements. And one feature it's gonna bring improvements to is mouse support. Now you'll be able to connect the mouse while mapping the right click button to do a long press or a 3D touch. It's going to be great, both for iPad OS and iOS, it's going to be here. And another new feature to expect has to be a new test flight indicator. So whenever you download any application which is in a beta version, you will get a new indication in a form of a yellow dot in front of the icon's name. Now I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon. And if you want more videos like this, let me know in the comment section. Until then, please like, comment and subscribe. Peace.